Just love the nail aisle, it's so good. Okay, here's the thing. I wanna explain some nail basics to you because it can be really confusing when you come to the hardware store and you're like, I just want some nails and there's like a billion of them to choose from. Okay, here for example, in my hand are both exterior but they look very different. The front ones that are all shiny, these ones, those are electro-galvanized. So they've got a very thin coating that is rust resistant on the outside. Then these, much more rustic looking nails, are actually more expensive. They're hot dipped galvanized. So they're actually dipped in, I don't know, zinc or something and it, it bonds to the metal and makes them very uh, weather resistant and rust resistant. Okay, now another thing that's good to know is some of them have a spiral shank on them. See that? It's got a, a twisted shank. Oh, by the way, your fingers get really dirty looking at nails, but that's just part of the fun. That is like that, because as you hammer it in, it twists into the wood, and that way it's very difficult to ever get it back out again, like as the building racks or freeze and thaw cycles, it's not gonna start backing out of the hole. So these are used a lot in framing and stuff like that, so they really are pinning your house together. They call them RDOX, at least in this area, they call them all RDOX. So you'll see, oh, I need RDOX because I'm putting together something that I want to be very permanent. So that's good to know. Here's something that'll confuse people. It says three inch 10D. What does 10D mean? That stands for 10 penny. See, um, 3D, that's three penny nails. 8D, that's eight penny nails. Well, what does that mean? It's used in, uh, still uh, in the United States more commonly since the 1600s. And what it means, or they think it meant was that a hundred of uh, a one and a quarter inch nail would cost you three pence, three D, three pence. Now why D and pence? Well that leads to another theory which it used to be thought that um, ten or sort of rather three pounds of, no wait, <laughs> oh, a thousand of these would be three pounds. Okay, a thousand a quarter inch because the D they thought stood for the Roman coin, the denera. I don't know, do I care? No, I just want you to know that 3D stands for three penny, but they're always one and a quarter inches long, whereas a 10 penny is always three inches long. It's just a different way of termini terminalizing, terminating, terminal terminalizing something. Ooh, this is getting good. Okay, so that's sort of basically the nails that you might need to know about for exterior use. Let's move on to the interior, the brights. Okay, so for interior, you're gonna want brights. Now these look, they sort of look shiny, but not as bright as the electro-galvanized ones. So those are not weather resistant. So you would never wanna use those if you were building something outside, like, like a deck or something. I dropped one, I just thought it was wrong to leave it on the floor, and now I just put it back in the wrong bin. That's the charm of being me. Okay, so then there's specialty nails, like these are roofing nails, so that when you're attaching shingles, that they've got a nice big head that won't tear the shingle up, but you, you know, you might be shingling a little shed. Um, then there are ring shanked nails, see there's a ring in them, and that's for attaching subfloor, for example, to um, studs so that the, the floor won't walk around, the rings really anchor it. So that's good to know about. And then we get into drywall ring shank nails and they are different, really sharp, ready to pierce drywall at a moment's notice. And again, the ring helps them from backing out and causing those ugly little nail pops. Who knows where they went? Who knows where they went? Right there. Okay, see, this is just, the, the staff is like watching me like, oh, not her again, because <laughs> I always, I love touching things. I like touching, touching's good. Ooh, these are Ticos. They're hot dipped, aren't they? Because they look kind of ugly and pimply. That's how you know. Ticos are used with Simpson strong ties to, um, if you're hanging joists. Uh-oh, where'd they go? Where'd they go? There we go. These, look at these. Uh, this has been here since the 70s, but look, double hot dipped, galvanized in molten zinc, yeah baby. You can even get triple dip, triple dip, just like at Dairy Queen, if you go to the right places. Okay, 
Oh, these are fun. Look, if you're attaching cable or a wire to make a fence, then you use those little U-shaped ones. So the nail aisle is really fun. Oh, there's just so many. Look at these beautiful things. And then, of course, if you ever need a really big nail, <laughs> huh? just have that in your pocket. Just when you go to parties and stuff, just, you know, if there's conversations lagging, just pull that out and say, Has anybody ever seen a nail this big before? That'll make you really popular. Just right. You can tell by my delivery that I know how to charm a crowd. Anyway, enjoy the nail aisle. Get your nails done, as it were. Do girl.